Hi, in today's lesson, we will go over the conditional statement. So let's get started. Let's click on the new and let's add working with conditional statements. And let's click on create folder. Next, we want to hit create and edit. And the Godot engine will pop up. So once we're here, let's go to the 2D scene and let's rename it to main, all right? And we're gonna add a script again. We're gonna leave it as default and hit create. All right, so this should be very familiar. So where we're gonna work on is the same place and it's gonna be inside the ready function. And remember, the ready function will get executed once. Right. So I'm going to delete pass. All right. <clears throat> so condition, all right? Oops. So condition is basically allow you allow you to control the flow of your program, okay? Oh, in order to add condition you will use what is known as comparison comparison operators and your comparator operator should be very familiar you use this for your math class when you're in high school or i believe it was in middle school and those are basically your less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to your equal to so for your equal it gotta be double equal sign and not equal okay let me add the wording for this less than greater than less than or equal to greater than equal to equal and not equal okay <laughs> when you add two different values and you try compare it compare it, it um, the GD script will return a boolean statement all right and that can be either true or false so example Okay, if I type three print, three is less than five, right? This should return you as true, cause three is less than five, right? When I run it, I'm gonna select current, I'm gonna save it. Now, when I run it, it will return a Boolean statement, which is true. If I switch it up, and do greater than, it will return false. Okay. So using this is pretty powerful. This will allow you to control your logic of your code. And when you pair the comparison operator with a statement called if, and if is basically allow you to control the flow of your code, all right? It will allow you to produce certain code or ignore certain code, all right? So example. All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna learn the if statement. If, oops, if three is less than five, all right. I'm gonna do print three is less than five. Now print. if statement is true okay and i'm running if statement is true all right so how this work all right if is a keyword statement and if 
we'll check for the condition, all right? And the condition is three is less than five. So this code can only run when the condition is true. If the condition is true, it will execute all the block of code inside of it. Now what will happen if the condition is false? I'm gonna switch up the sign to the greater than, and I'm gonna hit run. And notice how nothing happened, okay? So that's the power of the, the conditional statement. It will allow you to control the flow of the logic, okay? So another way of doing this is we can pair it with a variable, okay? <clears throat> so I'm gonna create a variable called age, and I'm gonna do age equal to 15. All right, and I'm assigned age is greater than or equal to, and I'm gonna say, let's say 18, all right? If you wanna work, you have to be 18 or over, all right? And I'm gonna print out you are old enough to work, okay? Now when I run it, nothing will happen because the statement is false, all right? Now, you know, it will work, but what if we want to add, you know, a different code logic when the statement is false? And this is where the else statement come in, okay? Else. With the else statement, this will only run when the, when the if statement is false. So I'm gonna print, you are too young to work, okay? Now when I run it, I get this on the output. You are too young to work, okay? All right. Now what if I want to test multiple condition at once, all right? What I can do is I can add what is known as a else if. So I'll do else if. Else if age is equal to, let's say 15. And I can print you can work only part time with parent approval, okay? Now, when I run it, I get this message. You can work only part time with parent approval, okay? And the reason why it this won't work, because age is, the age has a value of 15, and 15 is equal to 15, okay? So with conditional statement, you're basically able to control the flow of your logic. And this can be very useful once you start building, you know, a bigger project, all right? So that will be it for, you know, conditional statement. So good luck, guys. Take care, bye-bye.